What's up, wonderful bloggers of the internet? Today, we're going to be looking at how you can update your popcorn theme on your website. It's super simple, super easy, and we're just going to get straight to it. If you like this video, smash that like button and click subscribe for more blogging content just like this. Okie dokie. So very simply, just go to the popcorn website and then access your account. Go to downloads and download the latest popcorn theme. For me, that is popcorn theme 2.0. Once that's downloaded, very simply go to the website you want to load that on. For me, this is theoramwell.com. Log into your WordPress. Once you're logged into your WordPress, go down to Appearance, Themes, click on Themes. Now, very simply, go to the top where it says Upload and click Upload. Wonderful. Now take that download that you just got from Popcorn and drag it into Choose File. You don't need to unzip it or extract files or anything like that. Just drag the zip format file right there and click install now. Click activate, then go ahead and click begin install for the Gutenberg plugin. It's really important. So install that. Wonderful. Now we need to enter our license key. To find your license key, go to popcorn. And as long as you've actually bought your popcorn theme, you will have a license key. This key can be used as many times as you like on as many websites as you like. I currently have it on three different websites and I'm really, really happy with this theme. Honestly, this theme is the best one I've come across for blogging. Just generally, a lot of them start off and they're like, oh, we're a free theme. You get the free theme and then they suddenly have loads of microtransactions and scammy subscription services and things like this. Just gets me really frustrated. I bought the popcorn theme and I've just used it over and over again. And it just lets me get on with what I'm good at blogging. Simply done. Let's go. So if you want to see your license key, you'll just need to go to orders and then click on view. Then your license key will be shown. Scroll down and you'll see your license key. Now go back to WordPress where it says license code and input your license code. Activate popcorn too. Excellent. That is done. Now I'm just going to go to appearance and themes once more, just in case there's an update. And there is an update. Make sure you update this right away. It's really, really important you do that. Okay, that is all done. Now let's go to my website to see if this is loaded in. Everything's loaded in correctly. I'm really, really happy with that. Let's just refresh that. Okay, and as you can see, it's got kind of like the, the base default on how things look. That's completely fine. We can fix that super quickly and super easily. To do this, we just simply need to go to the new bar that we've got at the top. Really, really cool bar. Let's do this. So for this next section, I'm just going to deactivate the camera so that we can really focus on what's going on on the screen. OK, so go to the top of the bar where it says edit site and click edit site. Great. So now that's done, we can now choose on what it is we actually want on this site and what we don't want, etc, etc. I already had one previously built here, but it seems that this is kind of overdone that, which is fine. It should be pretty easy to remake that. So let's just replace that. Open media library. We should already have the media pre-built on the website. Excellent. Really happy with that. Now we can go ahead and write a catchy message. Okay, so I've just kept my really simple blogger, YouTuber, learn all about YouTube income strategies. Then very simply, I've got a read more and a see the blog. Now, it's up to you if you want to have two buttons. I personally only want to have one. So I'm actually just going to remove that one button right there by just right clicking it, clicking the three dots and removing button. Boom. Wonderful. Now for this read more, I can connect this up to a specific blog or I can connect this up to a menu item. Whatever it is I want to connect it up to, I can do that super easily. So let's go ahead and get that done. To do this, you will need a link. Now for me, I'm going to go to where it says pages. I'm going to click on pages and find my blog page. Brilliant. Found that blog page. I'm now going to copy that blog link and paste it back where this link was. To do this, very simply, go to the link section, control K and paste your link. Wonderful. Apply. That button will now link to your blog site. Wonderful. Now, if you want to have these three sections here, you can do. It's entirely up to you. This can be a great way to, you know, get people to potentially buy into specific products on your site. I personally don't like it and I don't tend to use it for most of my sites. On one of my sites, I have them 
uh, but not on the majority. So for this, I'm going to remove that. Very simply, click on that, click on the three dots, scroll down to remove group. Well, hey, we did it. Wonderful. Now I do notice we've got no featured posts, so we will need to fix that soon. Okie dokie. Now you will notice we have no menu, so we do need to create a menu. For me personally, I like to have a home button. It just works for me personally. So let's look for home. That's the home page. Now let's look for blog. To find that, we can just simply scroll down to where it says blog. Brilliant. Now I like to find the resource page where I like to put things like my affiliate links and things where if anyone asks, oh, what do you use to edit your pictures? I use Canva. My affiliate link is on my resource section of my website. Boom. Right there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But let's not forget the fact that I am a YouTuber and I do like to cover examples. So let's actually put in YouTube as well. Wonderful. We now got a YouTube page as well. Now, if you want to have anything specific, like specific categories, you can link categories here as well. There's loads and loads of little different strategies you can use for this. So let's go ahead and click on save. Save. Wonderful. So now if we go to theoramwild.com, you can see that has now saved. But what it hasn't saved is the, the featured posts. We've got no featured posts. So how do we do that? Let's find a couple of posts that I really like and I want to have featured on the front of my page. I quite like the create professional YouTube thumbnails with Canva. And I really like the popcorn theme review. Those two, I really like those. So I'm going to stick those on the front. To do this, click on edit post and then very simply click on stick to the top of blog, click update, click update. This will automatically stick that to the top of your blog. So when we actually go ahead and refresh, you'll notice that these are actually put at the top of your blog page now. Wonderful. Looks really, really good. You can decide to remove the, the writing if you want to, if you want to have a more of a clean looking site with less, you know, writing and more just pictures and straight away things to click on. Instead, it's entirely up to you what you want to go for on a whole. Now we've got all this. This is wonderful. I'm really happy with that. We do need to just have a quick look down here at what we've got. So we've got the about section, we've got contact and we've got sitemap. It really is down to you whether you want to have all of this down here at the bottom. It, it's what works for you. As it is 2023, I will be changing this to 2023. I will then be probably keeping the about section because I do like to actually have the about section. I just don't like to link it in the menu. I just don't think it looks good in the menu. Go ahead and write something quite nice about yourself or about your website, depending on what it is. Try and make it relevant to what you're writing about. It needs to be short and snappy. If you're not very good at this, that's fine. Just use an AI and they will help you just come up with uh, something to say that's good about you. Just give it some descriptions about you. Okie dokie. Mine's in there. It's a little bit long, but it is what it is. I can easily make this shorter if I want to. There you go. It's now shorter. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's up to you if you want to keep your affiliate disclaimer. I like to keep that. I just think it's intelligent to keep. Uh, it kind of like makes sure people are aware of the fact that some of your posts are going to have affiliate links in. And I think that is quite a good thing to do. Privacy policy, obviously link your privacy policy. Once again, uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. You can literally just copy and paste it right here if you want to. And if there's something you don't like, then get rid of it. In fact, the whole section there, I'm just going to get rid of because I've got, I've got it already. So I don't need it. If I want to put something else here, I can easily put it. I can put my YouTube link there if I want to. Whatever I want to put, I can stick it there. Easy peasy. So let's go ahead and click save. Brilliant. Now, it is worth noting this is quite a blank looking page. It's not exactly got anything that looks fancy right now. Uh, it's got kind of my own theme to it. I'm going to go ahead and change the style so that you guys have a good indication as to how you can change that as well. To do this, go ahead and click styles at the top and then go down to browse styles. At this point, your website is going to be loaded in with the various different styles, depending on what you click. Okie dokie. So as you can see, the site's just there. We can go ahead and we can click the salted caramel look if we want to. That gives it kind of a nice salted caramel look with all the writing and everything like that going towards that as well. It's quite nice. You can go for the purple theme. Looks okay, a little bit too bright for me. I'm not really keen on that. You can go for the minimal mint. That's a really clean look. It just wouldn't suit what it is I'm writing about right now. You can go for the default, which is what I was using before. I actually really like the default. I think it works tremendously. 
for a lot uh, for one of my sites it is a gaming site and a lot of people who are reading about gaming are reading from a very dark room so they really hate white sites they don't like it at all so i have opted in for a dark chocolate on one of my websites and it works really really well users are happy i'm happy we've got monochrome i've used this on one of my sites as well this is really nice generally it's got kind of like a me metallic feel to it really really like that and then if you're feeling rather colorful and you could go for rainbow whatever works for you for me personally i'm actually just going to stick with a very basic default because for this particular site i really like the basic default i think that just works it is worth noting that you can actually go ahead and look through all the various templates that come with this theme there's loads and loads of options that you can change about your whole site uh, using this plugin so definitely go ahead and do that thanks for watching i really really appreciate it remember to hit that like button and click subscribe i'll see you in the next video where we talk all about youtube and blogging